Hey everyone, my name is Christine Prosperi from Love Game Match and you're watching Hallmark Happenings. Thank you so much for talking to me today. Oh my gosh, I am so excited. I was just listening to some of your shows and I was like getting all excited to come on. Oh, awesome. Well, that's so cool. I hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> no, yeah, it was cool. And some people like I've worked with in the past, so it was kind of cool to like hear them talk about their Hallmark journey and yeah, it was cool. Oh, that's awesome. Well, super cool. Well, well, I just have to say, I love your whole backdrop and your living room. It is so nice and bright. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, we have a big uh, window going and it's pretty rainy outside with a little bit of a thunderstorm. So I'm hoping it won't. Uh, the actor in me is like the sound, the sound. I need to like perfect everything, but the lighting and the sound is good so far. Oh, it's perfect. Yeah, it's <laughs> awesome. You have such a nice, cool, like aesthetic going on. So I love it. It's perfect. Thank you. Thank you. Um, well, obviously we're here to talk about your up TV movie, but I was doing my like research and you've been acting since you were like three. Is that right? Yes. So I've been an actress since, yeah, I did my first commercial when I was three years old and, uh, I was kind of always like singing and dancing as a kid, like center of attention type of thing. And, uh, my parents were like, we need to do something about this. So they put me in like a singing competition and there was some like agencies there and they were like you should be a kid actor and I was like okay so then I started doing auditions and I think the first audition I did I booked it and it was for a commercial and then it kind of took off from there that's crazy so your very first one right out of the gate they loved yeah. it and they picked you <laughs> yes I mean I was three so I probably didn't really know what it was going on I was like having fun but uh but looking back, I'm like, wow, you were a lucky little girl, Missy. Like, it's hard to book something. So it was interesting. Yeah. That is interesting. And so uh, I saw you, like, you did stuff with, like, Nickelodeon, and obviously you were on Degrassi. So, like, since age three, you've just kind of been pursuing this, like, consistently, it seems like. Yeah. So I would, uh, you know, my mom would take me to auditions when I was a kid. After school, I would, like, do my homework in the car and you know, do this. I didn't really know what it was. I would just go in and kind of be myself and then come out when you're, you know, when you're a little girl, but around like 15, 16, I started taking acting lessons and wanted to take it a bit more seriously. And I kind of was like, okay, I can choose this as a career path. Uh, wanted to explore it as a career path. And then I booked a grassy when I was 17. And then that kind of just like spiraled into all these other things from there, which is cool. That's amazing. So yeah. you are definitely having tons of success. You're a working actor and this is your full-time career. That's amazing. Yes. It was very cool at the time, especially as a teenager in high school, it was definitely a different path than I'd seen before. And I was kind of just going with it and it worked out. So. Oh, that's so cool. So are you from Vancouver or Toronto? I'm from Toronto. So I know a lot of, there's a lot of like different actors from Vancouver, but we have a good uh, acting scene here in Toronto. So I grew up in Toronto. Oh, cool. And that's not too far from New York City. So you could just get down there if you book something down there. <laughs> yes, that would be the dream. That would be the dream. Well, I'd say you're having lots of success. So I'm sure they'd love <laughs> to have you in New York City. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, I would love that. That'd be so fun. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. So the Canadian actors are just rocking it. Uh, you obviously, I mean, I think that's such a cool thing. Like y'all don't even have to come to America. I mean, look at that. It's incredible. It's like the Hollywood of the North. <laughs> I know, you know what, it's funny, a lot of things, which you, I guess people wouldn't know a lot of things do shoot in Toronto or Vancouver, sometimes in Ottawa. Um, so it's interesting to see like my friends working uh, and it's kind of, you know, it, the movies in America, but I know it's shot here. So I'm kind of seeing the backdrops of like Vancouver, Toronto or Ottawa. And it's like my local actor friends. So it's like cool to see that kind of being mixed in. Um, but yeah, it's so it's so great to see such, uh, success for Canadian actors here in that space. Oh, totally. It's awesome. It's so fun. Yeah. And there's so many projects. I mean, it's crazy. I was going to ask you, I mean, I'm not super familiar with that part of the country, but Niagara Falls is like right by that. That's right. Yes. Niagara Falls is like an hour from Toronto. And like, as kids, we would go, like, it was like a thing to go to a field trip to Niagara Falls. So it's very popular. And is it like as beautiful as it looks like at the picture? Yes, it is. It is. It is. I mean, it's like, you know, they have like the wax museums and like the cheesy things, but all the things you want in like a place to go visit as a tourist, I think. Okay. That's cool. And then one more question before, about nature before we get back to like yes, the movies and everything. <laughs> have you seen the Northern Lights? I mean, since you're so far North. Uh, I haven't. 
but we have up north here in cottage country, we have some pretty crazy like stars or like, uh, but I've never seen the Northern Lights, but uh, that's definitely something I should put on a bucket list for sure. Yeah, that's so cool. Well, I always think it's so pretty in films when they show that. I'm just like, my goodness, that's the neatest thing. Um, <laughs> but anyway, um, and okay, so we're talking about this fun movie. I just watched it Saturday because I had to record it and all that good stuff. And it is so cute. It was so much fun. You did bring it on, which I mean, it's definitely not exactly this kind of rom-com, but you've done some made for TV movies. What was it like getting to something this kind of fun, lighthearted? Yeah, you know what? It's funny. Like I've done a lot of um, TV movies. Um, and a lot have been in the thriller space, which is funny because I feel like I'm really, uh, I don't know, just like a happy gal. Like I think comedy and rom-com is more my my niche, but uh, I've done a lot of thrillers in that world. But it was nice to kind of get this opportunity to be in like a light rom-com. And um, as you said, I did bring it on, which I played like a you know, a young adult, a teenager kind of vibe, which I also play a lot in like high school roles or cheerleader roles or this and that. So it was like kind of fun to play a rom-com teacher adult role that like I haven't really got to play that much yet. Um, so that was exciting for me. Yeah, you're playing the grown up now. You're an yes, economics I've, teacher. <laughs> I've gone, yes, I've made my way to the other side. So I was like, when my agent called and he was like, you know, there's a script and it's a teacher role. And I was like, Ooh, like finally, like I played, I played a lawyer and a wedding planner. And, uh, I was like, okay, yay. Now I get to play a teacher. Like I'm finally growing up in the TV world, which is great. That's so fun. And you did it so well. I was like, she's Thank the you. nicest teacher ever. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah. I mean, I was, um, my cousin's a teacher and I have some friends who are the, who are teachers who are young teachers. Um, so it was kind of cool to like, draw inspiration from them because you know it, you don't see young teachers often so it was like nice to play that that part for sure that is true and they start young they start if you graduate college 22 23 it makes sense they always show them like older I'm like yeah show the younger teachers yeah you can be a younger teacher for sure yeah <laughs> totally and then the where I guess the school where y'all filmed was so nice I was like that's the nicest high school I've ever seen where did y'all end up filming this Okay, so you'll be, I guess, surprised to know that we filmed that in New Orleans, Louisiana. Yeah. Oh, wow. So we filmed that um, last July and um, Louisiana is like so hot, <laughs> like, like in the summer, which I like didn't know. Um, but uh, yeah, we filmed there and it was super, super hot and the days were like long and muggy and um but it was a really cool experience and I got to live there for I guess a month um and film there and uh did the whole like bourbon street thing and that was a really cool experience too so yeah we filmed that in New Orleans which was fun that is so uncommon for these movies I know, for these networks. You know it's definitely definitely uncommon but you know anytime an opportunity strikes like that where I get to travel and to, especially to different places where I haven't been I'm like so on board and my fiance got to come um, and we kind of got to do like a, a weekend tour before I started working. So, so that's always like a treat to start uh, somewhere new. That's so cool. Well, you got yeah. to have a little mini vacay before you started. That's interesting because I know like so much stuff films in Louisiana. It's just like such a big deal, but that's so cool. You got to visit that. Did you see any alligators on set? <laughs> um, we, didn't, we didn't see any alligators. But there was some like gnarly rainstorms, like like tent, like um, you know, when you're filming, there's something called Video Village, and um, it's like the director and the producers, and there's like TV, uh, there's monitors set up to kind of view whatever the camera's seeing, and there was like a tent over that, obviously, and um, I there was this massive thunderstorm, rainstorm, and this tent like just like picked up, flew and right into the water, and this pond that we were filming in, like near and. It was so crazy. No alligator sightings, but the weather there was so crazy in July at the time. But it it made for like a really fun like experience overall. Oh yeah. Well, I think I would go with the weather versus the alligator if you had to pick yes. one. <laughs> yes, for sure. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. Well, that's such a neat little tidbit. Uh interesting, unique thing about this movie. Now, another unique thing is your co-star. When I was like looking at the movies coming out this month, I was like, oh my gosh, I, I recognize that name. I don't watch The Bachelor or Bachelorette, but I like, I knew about all that going on with Dale Moss. And I was like, this is so cool. He's going to be in a rom-com. So when you got the role, did you have any idea Dale was going to be playing your love interest? 
okay, so it's funny. So like I said before, the agent calls me and he's like, hey, we got this really cute rom-com script for a teacher. And I was like, perfect. So then after, usually after your agent calls you and you, you know, you sign off of it and you're, you're, you're going ahead with the project. Um, the first person that usually calls you after that is wardrobe. So the wardrobe department called me and uh, they were like, okay, so you're playing a teacher, really fun, sophisticated looks. Um, we're going to put you in a lot of heels because, you know, your love interest is so tall. And I was like, oh, like, who's my, who's my love interest? <laughs> you know, you got to ask because um, I'm going to, you know, do my Googling after. And she said, Dale Moss. And I'm also not a bachelor, like an avid bachelor watcher. Like I'm not in bachelor nation or anything. Um, but like, I feel like he was such a big uh, role in that time when he was on the show. Um, so it kind of, it was a little bit familiar. And then I got off the phone and I was like, hmm. And then I did my Googling. And then I was like, oh my God, it's that guy. It's the guy from The Bachelor. And he's, I think like six, five or something, which makes sense that I'm like in heels the whole movie. Um, and it's so funny because I don't, I don't watch The Bachelor either, but I did watch that one episode, me and Jordan, my fiance, we watched that one episode where uh, he gets chosen <laughs> and like a year prior, like I didn't, whatever. And then, uh, and then he came home and I was like, guess who's my love interest? And he said, who? And I said, Dale Moss, that guy, that episode we watched on The Bachelor. And he's like, really? And I'm like, yeah. So it was really cool the way it all like kind of started. Um, and he was such a pleasure to work with. I'm sure we'll get into that more. But uh, yeah, so that was kind of the story of the beginning of that, realizing who the love interest was. Oh, I love that. That is too funny. I mean, what are the odds? The only episode you really watch was I that swear, one. It's like the only, like, I mean, I've seen episodes, but with Jordan and I, we like sat down and watched one episode one day and it was that episode. And it was just like such a funny um, circle of events. That is so funny. Well, I love that story. That is so cool. And I guess this is like his first acting role. I think that's crazy. Mm -hmm. Did you, did he ever like ask you for any tips on like maybe blogging or different things? Cause it can be really technical aside just from the, the acting part. Yeah. So, um, I mean, Dale is such a great guy. He's such a nice guy. He's really open to, um, learning and just taking it all in. So, when I got picked up from the airport, actually, the driver was like, oh, I picked up your love interest this morning. And I was like, oh, cool. He's like, yeah. And he had a tennis racket. I think he's like really, he's really into this role and blah, blah. And I was like, oh, he sounds like really serious, which is good because you don't really know what to expect if someone's never acted before. Um, but when we had that first read through with director Christine, uh, it was just the three of us kind of having a rehearsal and I could just already tell he had it in him. Like he, he was so serious, so focused and so willing to learn the craft. And, and there is so many things like blocking and lighting and which he's been on TV before. So I know he get, he got, you know, the gist of it, but when you're filming, you know, this kind of style, it's very different than that kind of style. So, um, but he was so awesome right off the gate. And I, I it was really such a pleasure um, watching him like grow throughout this film and turn into his care, like really master his character. And um, there was one moment I remember watching him from the monitor uh, do a scene without me. And I just was like, oh, and a star is born. Like, I know it sounds cheesy, but like, I really like, and I get chills because it, it just really, it was such a pleasure to watch him grow as an actor in this. Um, and I know he's going to have so many more roles and success after this. Uh, I mean, he was so cute in it. Like he was just such a cutie pie and so talented. And it was just such a great thing to see him go through uh, with the coming, with the weeks that we filmed together. So. Oh, that's so awesome. Yeah. He was a natural. I mean, right? your first thing and you had great chemistry together. It was just perfect. And yeah, it was so funny because you say the tall, tall and they all said athletic, athletic. So I said, oh, that's so funny. Gosh, he, he really looks athletic. <laughs> Yes, he, yes, I was literally on something called an Apple box, like the whole movie. It's like a stepping stool kind of thing. Uh, a block that made me tall. Like he was just massive. Um, but uh, yeah, just a lovely, a lovely actor to work with. And uh, I'm really excited to see the, what the future holds for him for sure. I'm sure he'll have tons of success. You both will. I mean, that's awesome. So I'm so uh, glad y'all got to be paired up for this. And it was so cute. I just love the meet cute and getting hit by the tennis ball and then trying to fix your shirt. That was adorable. Yes. Classic rom-com uh, moment of us meeting, I would say. Uh, and then, yeah, just like the push and pull throughout the whole, the whole movie of us being so different, like pol like polar opposites. 
um, me being Liz being such a type A and him kind of being a happy go lucky go with the flow. It was so fun kind of playing that like back and forth. And then also finding those like really sweet moments of chemistry um, between the two of us in the Louisiana heat. It was like so hot. We were like dying of heat in every scene, but we made it work. I bet he was glad to be in like the athletic cut clothes and not have to wear like thick, like nice outfits and stuff like you were. Yeah, if, if it was a Christmas movie, we would be, it would be bad. We would be sweating. Um, oh. But yeah, yeah. Well, you know, I heard that they filmed the pilot for the Vampire Diaries, I think in Vancouver. They filmed the pilot there. So it was like chillier. And then all of a sudden they moved the whole series to New Orleans, or not New Orleans, Atlanta. They moved it to Atlanta oh, and yes. it's so hot okay. there. But yeah. they've got to keep all the attire from like this Pacific Northwest look. And I read that everyone is just so hot all the time. I'm like, I can imagine. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's interesting having to deal with that on set, but yeah, I couldn't imagine. Atlanta is also a place where so many things film, but also a hot, a hot one. <laughs> yes. Very humid, but so pretty with all those trees. <laughs> yes. But so pretty. <laughs> and um, I was wondering, so y'all had like so many scenes together. I mean, for the most movie, it was just the two of you on our screens. Did you have a favorite scene? I, I personally loved the end with the photo booth. I thought that was just so fun how they played that all together. But do you have a favorite scene with Dale? Oh my gosh. Um, it's so hard to say, you know, like I, I really loved the scene where, um, like I like two different two different types. Like I love the scene where we're at dinner with Pete and he kind of um, comes in and ruins, yeah, what's the word? He- um, Crashes the date. <laughs> crashes the date. And um, it was really cool playing that dynamic of the three of us kind of going back and forth and, and them not really realizing that I'm kind of rattled by that. And um, that was really cool and seeing Dale and that was cool. Um, and then I also liked the bench scene where we are like having pizza after we're fixing um, something for the carnival. And uh, it's just like a really sweet moment between the two characters kind of opening up and uh, getting to know each other. So that was really fun. Yeah, definitely great choices. Those are also sweet. It was wonderful. Now another thing, the blind dates, I guess, I guess you call them blind dates, even though they really weren't, but they were your first dates with your, yeah. your matches on the app. Those were so, so funny when you're reading the script and you first like saw the first one was like a sales rep for hair care products. Were you laughing? Oh my God. You know what? It's so funny because these, the, um, those are called like day players. They come in for like one scene and they're done. Right. So when you read the script, you, you really don't know what to expect with what this character is going to bring because it's such a short scene. So you're kind of like, Oh, I guess they're going to bring, you know, a lot to it. Cause it's their only scene of the movie or whatever, but these three, was it three guys? I think it was three guys, maybe two. I don't know. They were so funny. Like I, the choices they were making, I was like, I had to like, I was, it was so hard not to laugh because they were just making the funniest choices um, and just so talented. And after every one of those little mini scenes, I was like, oh my God, you're so funny. Like you need to be a comedian, like blah, blah, blah. So that was funny. But yeah, I'm glad you, you thought that was good too, because it was just such a funny moment in the film. Oh, it so was it like, especially I called it the mama boy date that oh. I was dying. I was like, oh my, oh my gosh. gosh, how awkward would that be in real life? And before we film it, we rehearse it, right? So he's like doing it full out on the phone. And I'm like, oh my God, like, I don't know how I got through that one. He was so, so, so funny. And the, and the hair one, it was just, yeah, they were all great. I really liked your reactions in those scenes. You were just kind of like, I just, the look on your face was like, I kind of like, not shocked, but like, what in the world is happening right now? It was so funny what in the world is happening right now? And I'm sure like that happens all the time in real life when you know, you're going on these like blind dates or like, you don't really know who you're meeting. And then you, I don't know, it, it just, yeah, it was a funny, a funny time. Oh, and okay. So we'll finish up in just a little bit, but I know you didn't really play tennis in the movie, but do you play tennis in real life? <laughs> um, Okay. It's funny. I don't like, I wouldn't say I'm like a good tennis player, but I definitely um, have been taking up tennis lessons throughout the year. Um, but back then I didn't, so I didn't really know any of like the terminology they were using, but now I do. And like watching it back, like, I'm like, oh, I know that. I know that move. I know that like thing. So I'm not very good, but, uh, I'm sure Dale was like, Dale seems like he's good at everything. So I'm sure he was, he's also good at tennis. <laughs> One of those guys that's just like great at every sport, put a ball or a racket or whatever in their hand will excel. <laughs> yes. I think that that's why he was so perfect for the role, but, uh, yeah, I'm not a, not a good tennis player. I would say. 
you should try table tennis. That's so much fun. And it's in air conditioning. So <laughs> yes, table tennis. Okay. I'll try that. But yeah, table tennis. Um, I do have a pool table. We do have a pool table that I randomly become good at. Um, but yeah, we'll see about the table tennis. I'll let you, I'll get back to you on that one. Yeah. Get some ping pong going on. It's so much fun. <laughs> yes. It can get intense. And that little ball just flies everywhere. It's so much fun. Sure. So yeah, start playing ping pong. <laughs> Yes, easier for sure. Yeah. Hey, maybe you'll be in a rom com all about ping pong players. That would be fun. <laughs> I'm sure. Yes, I'm sure one day they'll make one like that. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, so this was on Up TV, which is I feel like it's really up and up and coming. No pun intended. Um, but like on par with like Hallmark and Lifetime, they're making some really fun movies. Did you know when you filmed this that it was going to be airing on Up TV? No, we didn't know. Um. I figured it would be in some some capacity of that kind of um, in that kind of space, uh, but we didn't know where it was going to end up, um, which I think is cool because you're kind of it kind of leaves a mystery after you're filming, like oh, like where is this going to go and what's going to happen? Um, but no, I think it's it's really awesome that Up TV is is you know streaming all of these rom coms and thrillers and I mean even sometimes Christmas movies in the summer. Like I think it's it's really awesome and. Um, and just like a new channel is always good for these movies to thrive on and more exposure. And yeah, it's good. Very true points. And do you hope to do more of these fun, like neighbor TV movie rom-coms and maybe even Hallmark channel? Yes. I mean, I'm always down to do these. They're so fun. They're so uplifting. Um, well, especially the rom-coms um, and the thrillers are also fun too. Like it's all, it's, I feel like all of these movies, the Hallmark vibe, um, Hallmark Lifetime, like all that up TV stuff. Um, they really just have it all packed into one. Like, I feel like when you're doing, you know, a rom-com, it's very much like this. So it's a lot of, it's good for an actor because you get to do, you know, you get to get to play all these different things. So it's definitely a pleasure uh, to play on one of these. And uh, I, I'm always excited and down for the next one. So. Oh, well, a uh, perfect follow-up question. Do you have any other upcoming projects in the works that you can talk about? Yeah, I always have, you know, something, something going on and uh, something going on, but I can never talk about it. Um, but yeah, just always looking for the next, the next fun one and always auditioning for, you know, series and other things like that. Um, as I know you speak to many actors, so, you know, it's always kind of an up and down and you never know what's coming up, but there's always something something in the works. And it's always hopefully like a Hallmark lifetime. I'm really wanting to do a Christmas movie, another Christmas movie again. Those are always so much fun. Um, so yeah, we'll see. Just hopefully you're not filming that in New Orleans and your thick yes. sweaters. <laughs> yes, hopefully we'll film that in Toronto. Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Well, yeah, I'm, it's funny how the industry is. One day you don't have anything in the next, you have two or three things lined up. So you never know. Yeah, you never know. Um, but yeah, there's always something in the works, which is which is nice. I'm very fortunate. Oh, totally. You're awesome. You're so fun to watch. And um, we'll finish up with a quick rapid fire question session. Okay, cool. Okay, so I'm going to throw in a couple different ones, but the same ones too. I'm trying to think. Okay, what is your favorite rom-com? Super basic. <laughs> oh my God, my favorite rom-com? Oh, that is so hard. It's so hard. I mean... Um, you can go so classic, like how to lose a guy in 10 days, like kind of thing. <laughs> um, there's so many, it's too hard to pick. I need to go next question. Well, that question, that answer to your question is perfect. Such a funny movie. I just love right. Matthew McConaughey. Now he was so amazing, wasn't he? <laughs> yeah, so amazing. And like listening, I don't know if you listened to his audiobook or read his book, but it's interesting to see his perspective on that era of him doing rom-coms. Um, but yeah, that's a good one. Oh, for sure. He, uh, he's amazing. And so is Kate Hudson. But um, what, or, well, who? It's a who. Who is your dream co-star? <laughs> oh, uh, you give that, you give hard rapid fires. Um, I mean, my dream co-star? Is it cliche to say like Ryan Gosling? <laughs> no, absolutely not. He's so amazing. I mean, He's if he so could be amazing. Ken in your next movie, like have him be Ken again in a made for TV movie. I mean, oh my gosh, that picture. Oh. He is so talented. Like, it's just so crazy to see all the different roles he plays. Oh my God, the one with him in, um, what's that other one? Um, with him in Emma Stone, not La La Land, the other rom-com. Crazy Stupid Love. Yeah, Crazy <laughs> Stupid Love. Like, uh, imagine being Emma Stone in that. Like, that's so fun. 
Oh, I can't even imagine. I don't know how they, like, why didn't they get married? They were perfect for each other. I know. I know. And La La Land's so good. Yeah. I just feel like Ryan Gosling and he, he, I feel like he would like challenge his like co-stars. Like, I feel like he would like always try to get you to go, go there, which is cool. So, oh, yeah. totally. You, you've got to watch his interview. He just did on Jimmy Fallon talking you about saw it on TikTok. Did you? <laughs> so good. I love, yeah. I love his interviews. Oh, he's amazing. Well, um, good choice. And then um, what is the last show you binge watched? Oh, binge watched uh, Ozark. Oh, super intense. <laughs> it's intense and dark. Jason Bateman is so good. Uh, just such a great show. Oh my goodness. Such a, such a, just deep and dark. And I didn't want it to end. I'm sad that it's over, but yeah. You can always rewatch it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. In a couple of years. Yeah. There you go. Good choice. And then um, what is your favorite oh. ice cream flavor? Okay, this is funny and a little controversial in my household right now. Recently, I've been getting, uh, I've been buying chocolate peanut butter ice cream and it's so good. You can't go wrong. You have to try it. Yes, you have to try it. Oh, good choice. So many great choices. All your answers are perfect. And then finally, um, (laughs) where's a place you'd like to visit that you haven't yet traveled to? Ooh, yeah, I just, we actually just came back from Greece. So I kind of have that travel bug. Um, definitely like somewhere else in Europe, like Croatia would be amazing. Um, I've always wanted to go to Japan, um, Tokyo, Japan. That'd be like so fun. Um, yeah, there's lots of different places that I, we got to get to. So many different places in the world. Um, but yeah, definitely somewhere cool soon. Well, Greece is pretty cool. Was that fun? Oh, it was the best. Greece is amazing. I'm half Greek. So going there and kind of going back to the motherland Mm -hmm. was was really fun. Um, You got to go if you haven't been the islands there. They're just uh, there. It's just like um, such a different vibe there. It's awesome. Oh, wow. That's so cool. So you got to go back to kind of your native roots, your native lands. That's so neat. And of course, I mean, I've seen, I don't know too much about Greece, but uh, started traveling pants and then Mamma Mia. That's about the extent of that. And it's so beautiful, Santorini. Oh my God. So gorgeous. Like I always watch those movies before I, like I watched those movies before I left because I just love, I just wanted to get excited and since there's a traveling plant is such a good one. Um, but yeah, Greece is awesome. You gotta go. Oh, that's so cool. I'm glad you had such a fun trip. That's awesome. <laughs> thank you. Yes. And thank you so much for your time today. I really appreciate it. And the movie was awesome. And I'm sure you'll have tons of other fun stuff coming to our screen soon. Yes, um, for sure. And hopefully we can chat again when that happens. Oh, absolutely. I'll totally reach out when I see you've got something else. I'll be like, oh, time to chat again. <laughs> yes, I would love that. Bye. Thanks. Bye. Thank you so much for listening. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. If you love all things Up TV, Hallmark Channel, GAC Family, basically all of your made for TV movie channels, click that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of the previews, the recaps, or the interviews. Until next time, thank you so much for listening to Hallmark Happenings. Have a great day.